Please state your name and where you're from. Julia Mancuso, Squaw Valley, California. Squ Squaw Valley? Yep. Where's that? Also known as Olympic Valley in Lake Tahoe. Oh, that's nice. Have you ever been or, or did you watch the Olympics on TV? A little bit. <laughs> I was pretty busy well, at the what, time. Do do, what do you do for a living? What, what do you do? I race in Olympics, skiing. Really? Were you at the Olympics in Sochi? I was. Really? Did you win anything? Uh, one. That's very nice. That's lovely. Is that uh, gold? Or one of the other ones? I, I call it rose gold. It's kind of a rosy yeah. gold color. It's yeah. very nice. I didn't realize they were so heavy. This is they the are. first time I've ever held an Olympic medal in my hand and possibly the last. <laughs> Do you mind if I just borrow this for a second? Yeah, yeah, go Can, for it. I just, just for a second, I just want to do something that I've always wanted to do and I've never had a chance to do. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks. So, Julia, if that is your real name and you really are an Olympic contestant, these are amazing shoes for skiing. Thank you. That's, uh... <laughs> You know, it, lo it looks good. It looks very good. <laughs> now, um, Squaw Valley, California, eh? is that where you learned to ski? Yes, it is. And you like going downhill fast? Really fast. You're going to love this show. <laughs> American Hero! We'll be right back, everybody. Sponsored by Edmunds.com. Driven to make car buying easy with Edmunds Price Promise. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Gust of love from the studio audience. Incredible, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I heard the warm-up comedian say, "Oh, it's gonna be give him a gust of love." Did you hear that? A gust of love. A gust of love. It was like more like sort of, yeah, it was like a gust of love. Actually, <laughs> have you ever had a gust of love? Many, many times. I think many, it many involves times. something uh, get it blowing. Uh, yeah, like a light, a light breeze. Well, you know, it's sure. like you're, you're, you're somebody you love, and, and the bl blow. I probably shouldn't go on no, with no, that. No, stop, stop. <laughs> it's so early in the show, and I wandered into an inappropriate area, completely by accident. <laughs> oh, look what happened by accident! <laughs> My cleavage came out. <laughs> oh, look what happened by accident. <laughs> And, and you know what happens when you wander into an inappropriate area? Oh, yeah, what? Well, Augusta Love. Augusta Love, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> although, although, not such a great day for Piers Morgan. You hear about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, poor Piers. Uh, CNN is cancelling his talk show. It's, uh, yes, yes, it's been uh, 238 years since the Declaration of Independence, but it still feels good telling the British guy to... <laughs> I can't say that. Did you, did you hear it? 
I can't say that, but I was being patriotic. <laughs> you're an American, man. You, not only are you a racist, you're, a, you're an Al-Qaeda racist, isn't he? Al-Qaeda racist. You're one Al of the... Al-Qaeda. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, one of the, one of the even worse racists. <laughs> the Al-Qaeda racists. Do you know about them? Yeah, you're working dirt, right out of the gate, man. Yeah, right out like... of the gate. You wouldn't even let me talk about love and the... Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Larry King's offered to come back and replace Piers Morgan. Well, technically, he wouldn't be coming back because Larry's been hiding under his desk for the last three years. <laughs> Call her. I'm under here. <laughs> <laughs> Penis, you're on the air. <laughs> it's good. I like that. I like when you do that little click, clickety click. Well, that's what I mean. I, I, I know Larry doesn't make that noise, but in my mind, he does. That's it's your thing. like. Yeah. <laughs> No, he doesn't actually do that, but he kind of does, if you know what I mean. I know he doesn't do it, but... <laughs> it's got his essence, hasn't it? Yeah, you've got it. You've nailed it. You've yeah, it. I have not nailed Larry King. I have not nailed Larry King. <laughs> August of love. All right. Uh, last night here in L.A., history was made. The NBA's first openly gay player took the court against the Lakers. I'm very proud of how the fans here conducted themselves. In some cities, there might have been cheering, applause, some kind of... But not here. The Laker fans reacted like they always do, like... Is there a basketball game? <laughs> I didn't notice I was looking at Jack Nicholson. <laughs> very good. That's very accurate. That, you, you know who this is? Who's that? I don't know who this is. Do you know who this is? <laughs> is that your Larry King? Are you still doing Larry King? Yeah, that's like, is there a basketball game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> movie phone have announced they're eliminating their phone service. They're putting everything online. I'm like, <gasps> what about the movie phone guy? <laughs> What's gonna happen to him? Up, man, I know. He's been yeah. here for years. Right, don't worry, he's already landed a new job. He's doing a phone sex line. There, I'll be all right. Yeah. If you know the name of the sex act you'd like to simulate, press one. <laughs> press it again. <laughs> Faster, slower. <laughs> it's like a gust of love. <laughs> Cleveland, you're on the air. <laughs> Down in uh, Mexico, did you hear what happened in Mexico? They captured the world's most wanted drug king, 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 king the, the, you know what they call yeah, sure, them? Yeah, sure, yeah, no, I got What it. do they call them again? Is it the king, king, pin, king, pin, king, pin, king, pin, king, king pins? Pin, pin, Kingpin. Kingpin. They captured this king, the drug kingpin. They yeah, captured the kingpin, him. Right. He was hiding in a tiny little apartment. It's very anticlimactic. It's like, say hello to my little kitchenette. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. That is, I was doing a drug very good. ping ping kin. <laughs> well, that's me, I'm done. Ping, uh, kin. Yeah. Good. I was gonna do I was gonna do a monologue, but by the time I had got the end of the jokes, I was done. Yeah, no, you could you could stop whenever you want, man. That's fine. Really? Yeah, sure. Like this show? Yeah, sure, if you want. <laughs> right, I thought it was a condition of my citizenship, but you mean I don't have to do this? No, anymore? hell no, man, no. You mean I can tell him what I really think? Yeah, man. <laughs> I can't believe you wouldn't let me say, when I was being patriotic, you wouldn't let me express myself, you know, in uh, emphatic terms. See, you know, back in the day, he'd have been working for uh, the Nazis. Ooh, man. <laughs> oh, really? You owe me at that? After everything we've been through, you owe me at that? Like, I called him an Al-Qaeda racist, right, I swore right. at Piers Morgan, right. I did all this other stuff, and you're like, ah, ha, ha. And then I say that one thing, and you're like, ooh, you've gone too far. That's well, you know one. what? You can take your gust of love and go and blow it somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Strong words, Mr. Ferguson. Thank Strong you very words. much indeed. Hey, maybe we should apply to work at CNN. Oh, that'd be Yeah, we should do that. That'd be fun. You could do that show. You'd be great at that. What? The, uh, what the losing Larry viewers King. quickly? Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that show. You could they, they should have Larry back. He'd been... Ah, ah. <laughs> People love Larry King. They're all like, oh, we want the young demographic. The young demographic. Get Larry King back, I say. Don't you? Larry, 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 Medal-winning Olympian show. That's our show, yes. It's the big uh, Craig Held a Bronze show. 
There was gold in there too. She's won gold and silver. Yeah, no, I saw that. But you, you held the. You're a bronze medal holder. That's what you are. <laughs> How did it feel, man? Are you crying? No, man. I'm bit. asking you. I want to know. I don't yeah, have no, skin, I, I man. Yeah, I think a little bit because you went straight to the bronze thing. What? What? what, what I, there was, I touched all of them. I don't have skin, and I'd like to know. All right. <laughs> What it felt like? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It, was, it felt it was very heavy. It felt like some kind of paperweight. A paperweight, by the way, a young demographic, is something that held down paper <laughs> before computers were invented. Sometimes people would try. In the old days, people would be like this outside, and they'd be like, I'll just write a book. <laughs> or maybe, I'll just write a tweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, a tweet. Yeah, that's good, yeah. I'm about to write a tweet. <laughs> Dear person in the media, you sucketh. <laughs> Hashtag, ha ha, lol, etc. <laughs> and then big squiggly writing. And yeah, they'd be squiggly. trying that, but they'd be outside so the wind would blow and it would go, like, whoa! So they would use something like an Olympic gold medal or a large chocolate dollar <laughs> to hold it down. You see? <laughs> Have you ever had a large chocolate dollar, Jeff? Yes, I have. Just, just before a gust of love. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a gay robot, a dancing horse, and a creepy foreigner with nothing left to lose. Hey! Play the jingle! You have crushes and you Emails. Plus your emails. Email time again. Okay. All right, this is uh, from Annie in Port St. Lucie in Florida. And now, she's from Florida, so I should speak in Florida E. Yeah, Florida E. All right, so, so <laughs> this is from Annie. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Thanks for writing into the show. <laughs> Uh, Annie says, uh, Dear Craig and... Good night, Florida. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, do you believe in the healing powers of excellent chicken soup? I do! Wow, I was... I, I once... Uh, Jeff, you don't know about this. I was once in a terrible accident, and my leg got chopped off. And what did you do? I took some excellent chicken soup, and I grew another leg! Unbelievable! It grew back! I was having the soup, I was like, What am I going to do? This is going to be a major adjustment in my life! And then as I ate the soup, I was like, what? <laughs> hey, presto. So you had chicken soup for the stump. That's good. That's very good. You went too far, man. Thank you very much. All right. This is from Dan in Century City, California. You ever been there? Good place, Century City, yeah. Really? Why do they call it Century City? Because it, uh, it, it was built during the end of the last uh, century turn of, of it. <laughs> why? Do you know why? Why it's called Century City? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking you. Uh, because that was uh, Bob Century, was the guy who found That's it. That's right, Bob yeah, Century, yeah. yeah. Bob Century came over uh, uh, west in a covered wagon, and he got, uh, uh, he got to Century City, and that was his claim. And the other prospector said to him, What are you going to call your town here, Mr. Century? And he said, oh, I don't know, something will come to me, I guess. <laughs> and they said, What about Century City? And he said, Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just write that down. Yeah, right, yeah, that's it, yeah. Century City. Hashtag. E <laughs> Why do we have these? I'm sorry, I left those out. That's All right, that's yeah, my, all right. That's my bad. Uh, this is from Dan in Century City, California. It says, Craig, I am an agent here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Would you kindly put me in touch with the talented actors who portray Secretariat? Yeah, yeah. First of all, not actors, real horse. <laughs> but Craig, you've always said, not a real horse. I zig when you zag, bitches. <laughs> real horse. That's real horse. Real, real horse. horse. Real horse. Are you a real horse? <laughs> that is the correct answer. Hey, have you been watching The House of Cards on Netflix? Oh, no, no. I've man. watched it. God, Kevin Spacey is diabolical. <laughs> I mean, he's good at acting, no, but he's, he's just... Uh, no, uh, okay. He's I good at he'd... acting, but he's so... But he's so... Ah. And you're enjoying that. You're really getting... I him. like a good... Ah. Yeah, you do. 
Uh, this is from Carla in Falls Church in uh, uh, Virginia. You ever been there? Yeah, I've been to Virginia once, once. <laughs> Why didn't you go back? Well, now I'm into dudes. <laughs> If it's any consolation to you, I can't follow what's going on either. It, it, Carla says, Craig, have you ever been into meditation? <laughs> I'm getting into it, actually. Yeah, you're getting into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting into it right now. I'm, I'm not even doing the rest of the tweets. I'm just going to meditate. <laughs> <coughs> do, we, uh, do we have uh, any meditation music? was I under? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. And a uh, uh, musician, a uh, beautiful woman, her new show, New Girl. Her show is New Girl. It's not new, though, but it's new to me. It's new to you. Because every fresh one is like a gust of love. That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Good stuff, boss. Good Thanks. stuff. Thanks. It's Good a stuff. quality entertainment tonight. Her show is on Tuesdays on Fox. Take a look at this. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel! I'm doing, I'm doing that. I'm yep. doing that to and you. I'm doing that. Yeah, it's like, it's like that. Narnia. It's like we You're went like, to Narnia, I my know. lady. Do you like all that? Yeah, I, I, you know, I was just talking about those books the other day, and a, a bunch of friends of, of mine were saying they everybody wanted to try Turkish Delight because they kept talking about it in that book, and then when you try it, it's not delicious at all. <laughs> but it's the thing, the, the Snow Queen uses that to... Turkish Delight's delicious. I mean, you might be conditioned to like it. Because I'm not Turkish. Did you I think I was Turkish? No, no, but maybe it's more popular, you know. Where I'm from? In Scotland. In Scotland, do you think? You well, might it is... like it more there. Well, people do love it. I've, I've had it in Turkey, though. I, I've been to Turkey. Is it delicious in Turkey? It's unbelievable. Well, it's not like the rubbish Turkish delight we get here. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, then I should try it in Turkey. Have you never been to Turkey? No, have you? You should go. It's an amazing really? place. Really? Oh, really fascinating. I definitely will try it. I went to, to Istanbul. Yeah? Not Constantinople. <laughs> now, can I, did you have Turkish coffee? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I uh, had Good, a hookah right? as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turkish coffee is very... It's a big giant thing you smoke a thing in. I didn't want to say. Well, no, it's a, you know, you just... I didn't, I, didn't I, I mean, I just, I still smoke cigarettes then, so I kind of right. tried it. It was like... <laughs> it just takes the tobacco longer to travel to your lungs. Yeah, it's like a bong for tobacco. Right. <laughs> oh, you know what a bong is then? What? Uh-huh. No, I don't. So, my detective powers have played off one more time. <laughs> Sorry. How are things? How are the, you Great. still play with the band? I love the suit, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, you, you know, you look like a very, like a rich 1930s, like, <laughs> like dapper gentleman. That's what I'm going for, Toots. <laughs> yeah. I'm very happy that yes. I, I identified that. I think that. a straw boater would be nice with oh, this. Oh, yeah, a boater skimmer hat, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. You could do a gondola Right, tour. but they, would, they wouldn't let me do it. Ugh. Do you know why? Why? Your parents Racism. Not... Oh. Racism. <laughs> I thought maybe your parents had like a, you know, like, you can't drive you can. a gondola like you want to. Go, go to America and be a comedian. Yeah, yeah. You can't ride a gondola. You're rubbish. 
I was also a fat child. I, I was too. Were you really? Yeah. I can't believe that. No, I was. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I, but you turned out so winsome and lovely and thank elegant you. and beautiful. I stretched out as well. Yeah, yeah. I grew out before I grew up and then that I kind of did that too. I grew out and then I grew up then I grew out again. Yeah. <laughs> So many stages. In it just, it keeps, like, I keep trying to grow that way and it keeps growing that way. It's hard after a certain point you can't grow that way. Well, I know. Just, yeah. Do you do, uh, do you do the keep fit and the yoga and such? I, I do do the keep fit, but I don't, yeah. Types of, different types of keep fit. What kind of keep fit do you do then? I do, like, ballet sorts of things. Ooh, cardio bar? No, but. You um, should. Everyone's doing cardio bar in LA now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that, uh, do you do ballet dancing? No, um, ba ballet, well, yeah, I do it, my friend is a ballerina, we do ballet. Why do, ballet I, I feel like when I ask you if you do ballet dancing, I'm asking you if you've got drugs on you. You're, you're, <laughs> you're answering, you're you like, well, uh, you know, it's my friend, my friend does ballet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I just didn't want to, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to over, you know, I don't want to claim that I'm I see, some sort of I ballerina, see. but, you know. No, no, I, I understand. A little bits here and there, you know. I understand. I to keep fit, for the keep fit. Yes, and for the keep fits and but stuff. But it sounded like you said belly dancing for a second, and that really felt like a lie, because no, I don't. <laughs> Haven't you tried it? I, no. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little bit, I think. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I'd love to see a video of that if you have one. I, uh... Well, I, you know, all the videos I make of my belly dancing, uh, you I should put them on, do, you, do you have a tweeter? <laughs> you I, should put them on your tweeter. I should. Here, here, if you want to send a tweet, here's a pen. <laughs> Don't touch it, I've been licking it. Okay. <laughs> What's that? I was scared. Well, well, don't be scared of this. You said don't touch it. Well, you, this end is safe. Okay. This end is poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> so, you choose. <laughs> Remember, this end's safe, this end poisoned. It's like Narnia. It's hard to decide. Mm, poisoned? That, that's tempting, but you said some, that. That's safe, I know. That. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you still with the band? You still toured? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. We good. toured last summer. How'd it go? It was great. It was yes? so much fun, yeah. Mm. Do you have people time. holding up uh, lighters at the end of your songs? Oh, I wish. Uh, uh, for a while, it was a, a lot of cell phones. Yeah, holding up cell phones? Yeah. Uh, you can't light a hookah with a cell phone. Yeah, you can't. You also can't really light them on fire very well. No. they're made of uh, plastic. Yes, the, the terrible smell. Bad, bad yeah, yeah. news. Yes. They don't. So nobody holds up anything then? Well, I, we kind of did a little thing where we asked people not to, to videotape the shows just because it was getting to be a problem. People were bringing like iPads and yeah. covering, like making it so that the people behind them couldn't see. And yeah, yeah. No, I've seen yeah. that and uh, you know, yeah. I've, I've done it is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, I, I totally understand the, the impulse, but, but then later you realize that it's hard, you don't actually really experience the moment when, when you are videotaping something, and then later you look at it and you go like, oh, I have a video of the, the show that I wanted to watch, and now I really need to, now, I, the only time I can pay attention to it is now when the sound is terrible. Right, well, the that's, is but terrible. that's, the, I read a survey about that, that apparently you don't retain stuff no, if you, you are, you're, you know, the, like it, I read it in a medical yeah. journal or something. Yeah. I mean, I, I imagined like, I, I, I read it in a medical journal. This is medical. interesting. Yeah. Mm. I imagine many things. Oh, yeah, so I was like, hmm, <laughs> this is fascinating. Okay, so you have a feather you put in your mouth, you have a pipe you put in your mouth, what else? <laughs> Lovely Zoe Deschanel, we were just talking about uh, tattoos and how you'd like to get one. <laughs> right, yeah, because I wanted to get one of a Craig Ferguson mug. <laughs> Why don't you just have them? You can have on that. On my spine. Don't get a tattoo on your spine. <laughs> of a mug on my spine. Why would you it's get a normal. tattoo of a cup? Don't worry, it's normal. Just have that. You can just have the cup. You don't have any tattoos. What? No, I don't. I no, don't. I, 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 I'm good for you. Yeah, it just seems like it would hurt. <laughs> 
It does. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a needle with ink going in. It's a ne it's a, a poison hot needle full of poison <laughs> shark ink. Do you have a tattoo? I got five. Oh, I didn't even know that. You yeah. did so well on your wool suit. Yeah, you see. But underneath the wool suit Is beats the heart well, of me... punk rock. <laughs> uh, do you have tattoos? On... Yeah. <laughs> Well, every, every, about every couple of years it goes f -b -b -b. <laughs> do you have like do you have like a punk rock night every five years is that what you're saying no i couldn't do that right. i had a bunch of them all strung all together in the 1980s <laughs> you and then that was your it. your punk rock allowance yes I, I i did i think there's something not really quite right about a 51 year old man goes <laughs> yeah uh, you're the man and they go no you're the man you're the old man <laughs> No, I have a question. I, Do you have any tattoos underneath your tattoos? Yes, but I can't. I'm not at liberty to reveal them to you because they're hidden underneath my tattoos. Okay. <laughs> Would you mean Fair tattoos enough. that I had changed? Yeah, like did you ever like... Get like, a tattoo and then regret and then be it? like, ah, I don't like that snake. No, 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 no. I did, I, no, I've, I'm fine with okay. all my... You like, Who oh. told you about this? <laughs> I, nobody told me. I was just like making a conversation. Well, this is the wrong place for that kind of thing. <laughs> Hey, oh, uh, how's the show, The uh, New Girl? Oh, oh, it's great. It's great. great. We have... Zoe Deschanel, everybody! <laughs> Where are Talented and beautiful actress. She stars in Bates Motel. Actually, that sounded a little bit like yeah, Arnold. That was Arnold there. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. yeah, do it again. Anyway, she yeah. stars in Bates Motel. The second season premieres March the third. Take a look at this. Absolutely wonderful. Very uh, Pshaw, this old Max. No, it's rock. lovely. It makes me want to meditate. <laughs> Let's meditate quickly. <laughs> All right, that's enough. It's enough. Actually, do, I, you, do you meditate? Uh, <laughs> I have my version of it. Yeah. What, what, what version is that then? Do you have a video I, or something? No, 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 no videos. God, I lose my saliva. You lose your saliva? Mm. Wh where? <laughs> what, are you, what are you sniffing? Uh, it's my, <laughs> it's like serenity in a bottle. It's my um, aromatic smelling salts, if you will. Can, can I, can I? Yeah. No, it's, it, it's, I, I mean, is it like, is it poppers or something? No, 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 it's, a, it's essential oils, like blue tansy, tangerine. Oh, okay. A ylang ylang, a little patchouli. <laughs> If you know that sort of thing. Oh, it's lovely. It smells like going to a spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, for, mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> take a big old whiff. No, I don't want to take too much of a whiff. I've got a history with sticking things up my nose. <laughs> I don't want to be too, uh, you know, little, uh, little careful. That's very nice. Why do you have that with you, though? Um, it's for moments where I feel like I'm seconds away from losing my... Ay, caramba! <laughs> oh, no. No, you mustn't. Why? Uh, but get... it's not, I, I don't. I don't feel like that now. It's just a preventative measure in case I, I do. But that's my... There's a kind of meditation. Uh, well, I suppose, yes. <laughs> You're looking at my real horse right I'm now. always looking at <laughs> yeah, your Yeah, you horse. like that horse, don't you? I... Yeah. I love that Equus. Has anyone ever barebacked him? <laughs> <laughs> No. I, know. I, I certainly know someone uh, has the robot, but I'm not so, so sure about the... Uh, has anyone ever barebacked you? <laughs> I, think, I think actually Tom Hanks rode him bareback when he was here. Really? He did? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we do. Do, do you have that? 
Well, uh, good for you. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, there it is. Look, there's Tom Hanks on him, right there. Um, so what's going on then? Bates Motel season two. The last time I saw two. you was... Yeah, but it's not like a... Uh, it's more like... Uh, <laughs> well, let's do that yeah, then. it's not like a... All right, right, okay. So, Bates Motel. <laughs> Don't we have any music for this? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's meditation. We need something uh, creepier, right? Creepy. That was too esoteric. Right, yeah, let's try it again. Something with more... Uh... Violence. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's enough. That was too creepy. <laughs> the last time I. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw you, we were at. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. What? Last time I was here, yes. you gave me. Um, an auto, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jules autobiography. Jules autobiography. Yes. Yeah. Can I exchange it for that quill? <laughs> <laughs> my my son's got show and tell for the letter Q on Friday. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yes, of course. Now be careful. The scent safe. The scent pie. <laughs> so when you give it to your son, let him hold this end because this end poison. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would have it rinsed, but yes, you can have it. We, we've got a, an entire bird full uh, back there. <laughs> okay. Well, there you are then. Uh, but that's... the book's back there. I can... Uh, no, no, I'm you can exchange. keep the... I read it. Oh, yeah. No, I did too. Do I did the, it. No. She, it was, it's wonderful. She's had a fascinating life, hasn't she? Amazing, amazing. She just gets to the core of human emotion. The way she does with her songs. I should read it again. I, uh, <laughs> she but does the, it again with the book. She's, and if you're into uh, sort of these kind of uh, observation books, I got one for you. What? what? Liv Ullman. Liv Ullman. Changing. Yeah. To yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> Is this a kind of Bruce Jenner thing happening she, here? No, 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 she, no, oh. no she's, she's like the jewel of Oslo. Oh, right. So okay. you might really, really love her. <laughs> Hey, the last time I saw you, because yeah. I've got this thing that I want to say. What? The last time I saw you was at Comic-Con. Yes. And we, uh, there was a party for Bates Motel, and I went yeah. to the party, because yeah. I'm that guy. And <laughs> the, the, it was packed full of people, and then there was a little VIP section roped off, mm -hmm. and you were sitting in it all on your own. I know. It made yeah. me sad. Uh, yeah, there's a stigma now of playing Norma Bates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this psychopath. Do you, think, do you think people think you're unhinged in any way? I don't. I don't think that. I don't. I genuinely don't. I think you're an unusual woman, but I like that. I don't know. I don't know. But you rescued me in that moment. And yes, yeah. yes. I saw you. I leapt over the you fence did. and I said, I'm a VIP. Let me through. <laughs> and then they called security. They tased me. We laughed. <laughs> no, did you have a nice time at the party? I did. Do, are you good yeah. at parties? N uh, no. No, me no. neither. I'm surprised that you were no, there. No, no. I, and indeed, I was too. I, I mean, you had to be. What the hell? I was doing there. I have no idea. But it depends on the party. It depends on you know what, what, small, what we're like celebrating small parties. and small parties. Uh, With little better. People. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's <empty. laughs> uh, Maybe not. <clears throat> well. Well. That's it then. Is it already? It goes so fast. You no. should come more often here. Well, you should invite me more often. Okay, um, come back. I will. I, re I do like your dress. It's very. Thank you. I sewed it myself. Really? Out of Victorian vintage lace. It's very nice. With I, I, I don't know if you, you're aware of this, but you, you can. It's quite see through, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, little lower? <laughs> yeah, I Quietly, everyone. Quietly, please. No applause. <laughs> it just sounds phony. <laughs> Jeff, are you excited? I'm very excited. Why are you excited, Jeff? We've got we've got an exciting band. An exciting band. Wow, well, this band were here last week, and they were so good. Really good. We said, I, and so reasonably priced. <laughs> We said, why not come back and do an entire week of shows? Yeah. An yeah. entire week of shows. And they're from Scotland. Oh, that's right. That's yes. Right. And 
And, and if you don't like them, you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be here all week. Uh, here tonight, they're performing Queenstown off their debut album. Here, playing us off the air tonight, Roddy Hart and the Lonesome Fire, everybody. Roddy Hart and the Lonesome Fire. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. 